Welcome back, everybody, to Silver Run Forest. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to pick up pretty much where we left off in the last episode. If you did not see the last episode, we spent uh, the majority of that episode building this road into our new property, which is going to be our permanent place of residence. Uh, we are in the northeast corner of the map, so we're way up here in the redwoods. And uh, the plan here, of course, is for us to uh, to make our permanent home. Uh, I'm not going to do any extensive logging on this property. Uh, we'll do probably some thinning and, you know, probably pull the sellable timber out. But we're definitely going to leave the redwoods in place. And, you know, hopefully by the time it's it's all said and done, it'll be a nice looking uh, little park up in here. All right. So the first order of business for today's episode is to get a bridge in place over the creek here. And I have installed a mod from Alien Jim that has a bunch of placeable objects. And so if we go into our building menu to decoration to others, um, he's got a, a bridge that I really like. Uh, it's pretty large, uh, as you can see here, but it's it's wider than, you know, the other bridges that I've been using. And I was kind of messing with it before I started rolling the camera. And I think we can make it work by just kind of clipping it into the ground. Um, like so. So I think... Probably if we put it in like that, we can make it make it work. Uh, so we're going to need to do a little bit of landscaping work here. Let's get the leveling tool. And uh, why can't I see? Oh. Okay, hold on a sec. Well, that's weird. It's getting buried underneath the, the ground. And okay, we probably need to move away a little bit further ourselves, too. All right, let's try this again. Maybe that's what the problem was, actually. Landscaping leveling. There we go. Okay. Uh, so, what I want to try and do is... Level that to there. Something to that effect. And bring that part down, this part up. And we'll also soften it up a little bit too. <clears throat> bring that down a little bit there. It doesn't look too bad. Let's um, just run the soften tool over a little bit. Okay, now let's take a look at it. Take a look at it from the ground. And then it kind of clips into the ground over here too, but that's okay. Um, well, actually, kind of don't like that these plants are Sticking up through it, though. So let's see. Can we get this back for all of its money? No, we only get half price. Okay. Well, I'll probably pay myself back for that. Okay, so before we do this again, let's um, let's come over here. And I want to get rid of some more of this foliage here on both sides. up to about where the bridge is going to clip into the ground. All right. Maybe get rid of that too. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm going to give myself $1,250 back. And then let's stand back here. into the build menu decoration others scroll all the way to the very end and grab this bridge okay um can we turn it that way a little bit I think 
I like that. That's better. Now it doesn't have <clears throat> a bunch of grass and stuff sticking up through it. Okay, so we need to just work on this a little bit here. Again, raise that up more. And soften it some. Okay, let's check that out. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. All right, cool. Uh, so now, let's go ahead and jump in the front loader and kind of move it out of the way. What we're going to do is... Well, I'm just wondering if I should get the tree devourer up here. Nah, let's not. Let's just... That's a dead tree, right? Yeah. I want to delete this, except for it's not giving me the delete option now. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Alright, what about on this little tree here? Nope. No delete option working there either. Son of a gun. What is going on? We could just cut it down normally, I guess. I don't know if there's, like, you know, if there's some way you'd activate that or not. I mean, like I said, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand the rhyme or reason to it. All right, well, then let's just cut this. Okay, now we get the delete option for the stump. And honestly, I'm not really worried about that tree. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's cut this down then. Hey, you're good at making me lose my mind, but I always come around.
keep falling till we hit the ground and then we we always get back up again we were a little messed up to um, see about placing the house. So let's just park this over here. I'm going to uh, see if we can leave this little dogwood here. And let's stand up over this way. Okay, we're going to do a game save. Now, I um, I have two options for a house. And I haven't really decided which one I want to do. Option one is this really nice, um, almost A-frame type of house here with the porch on it. And we can have it, you know, right down on the water there. Uh, we'd have to remove those reeds. And we'd also have to do a little bit of leveling, too. The problem with this house, though, as neat as it is, is that you can't go inside of it. Um, it's just a, you know, it's just an, like a normal farming simulator house. It sure looks nice, though. So there, so there's this option. Then there's also this modded cabin that I found. Now this is more rustic. It's not quite as fancy schmancy as the other one, but you can actually go inside of this house. It's got like rooms and stuff inside of it. Uh, plus it's a lot cheaper too. Not not that I really care about that um, so much at this point. And if we did this one, we could we could still build like our little. You know, deck out into the water. Um. Okay, here, let's just place it. And I'll show it to you. So, so you can go inside. And it's got a nice little kitchen in here and a fireplace. It doesn't actually work, but a TV and a couch. You can sit down and relax after a long day of logging. What's all that up there? Fruit juice. Um, there's a loft up here. Okay, nothing really up there. This is the bedroom. If I could get the door to open. Come on, door. Okay, how about this door? There we go. This is the, the bathroom and where we would go to change our clothes. And a mirror that has the reflection of a field in Elm Creek. It's a magic mirror. Look at that. Um, why isn't this door opening? This is a bedroom. Oh, there we go. And this is the bedroom and, the, and where you can uh, spend the night. You got a nice little cozy bed. So it's really cute. It's really cozy. It's very rustic, though, but it's not as fancy schmancy as the other one. I'll be honest with you, as neat as it is to be able to go inside here and do some of that stuff, I, I think I'm feeling the other one. Because, I mean, we're really only going to use it to change clothes and, and sleep anyway. So let's um, let's take a look at the other one. I'm only getting half the money back for that, so we're just going to give ourselves another 20000 because we're, we're testing stuff out right now. We're not committing quite yet. All right. Now, let's go ahead and 
go to farmhouses and we'll get this really nice one here. See, this, this house has a lot more character on the outside. It's got that porch and everything. Um, okay, so if we did this, I would want to place it... <clears throat> That putting that other house down kind of messed things up a little bit. All right, what if we placed it there? Oh, that's not quite what I wanted it to do. <laughs> it brings out out a whole lot of land with it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, if we sunk this back down under the water, will that would that work? Hmm. I mean, it kind of it kind of works, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is reload the game, and when we set this down, we're going to actually we're going to have to set it back. I, I guess we can't set it right over the water because it's just going to do that again but yeah i'm i'm liking this house better it's too bad we can't couldn't go inside of it though but it's pretty neat though okay let's reload the game and and re reset this okay let's try this again so we're gonna go into the build menu here And we're going to go to farmhouses, grab this one. And I think we're going to probably want to set it back maybe to about here. Um... And that looks about right in terms of its angle towards the lake. Let's just pop it down right there. Take a quick look-see. Yeah, we could probably relax this down again a little bit. And then we can make the rest of the ground around the house level with where the house is currently at. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think that'll work. Okay, guys, we're going to try something here. Uh, we're going to go into the build menu. This is $47,500. We're going to sell the house. Go uh, back in here and give ourselves $47,500 back. Okay. Um, now, let's go back into the build menu. We're going to go to farmhouses. We're going to... Uh, pick our farmhouse again. By the way, I did, I did look at some of these other houses. This one is kind of neat because it's got almost like a, a three-quarter wraparound porch, but the house itself is isn't as doesn't have as much character as this one. And then this one, yeah, this is even smaller, more of a cabin. Um, this is our permanent home, you know. Um, so we want we want to use the nicest house available. Okay, so anyway, let's. Um, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna press V to put this into free mode, so that it doesn't uh, modify the terrain when we set it down. Uh, we already know that it'll be nice and level because we set it down previously. And then what I want to do here, let me make sure. I think I want to turn it that way just a, a hair. Well, actually, maybe not. Probably doesn't really matter a whole lot one way or the other. But yeah, let's we'll have it turned at this angle. Well, let's look at it from here. If it's going to kind of face more towards the center of the lake, it really needs to be kind of more like that. Ish. Okay. 
All right, now what I want to do is I want to bring it out to about here. So it's just like right over, or at least at the edge of the water. And let's set it down. Okay. I like that a little better because it's, it's just out over the water just a hair. Now what we want to do though is we want to see if we can do a little bit of landscape work here. Bring that up to there. Mostly just fill that gap in. And I think too, well, Yeah, we need, need to do something about the stairs here. So this needs... Well, here. I'm going to level. We need to... to, to oh, my camera. We need to do some more leveling anyways. So let's increase the size of this. And we're going to level out to probably about here-ish. And then we'll have just a little steeper bank going that way. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to try one other thing here, and I noticed, too, that this is, uh, the ground's below the edge of the stairs there, so we need to raise that up a little bit. Okay, let's go, let's do this again, but instead of trying to remove all of the bulrushes in the water, uh, we'll just leave them there. Um, and we'll just kind of do the beach thing. Here, let me make that one size bigger so I can get a little ways out into the water. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to go one more size. Just not quite enough to get all of them. Oh, that one. We got that one. Okay, that's better. And the sand goes out of the water a little bit, but it's not like an artificially looking round circle, so I'm okay with that. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'm liking this, man. Now we have ourselves like a little beach there. Okay, let's go to decorations and others, and let's see, did that alien gym pack that I download possibly have a boat? I didn't look at everything it had. It's got a lawnmower, that's cool. There's a bench, a, do a Doctor Who phone booth. <laughs> that's funny. Some stones, a snowman. There's like a little fountain, that's cool. Some barrels. Is this a bench or a picnic table? It looks like it's just a bench. Okay, so unfortunately I don't see a boat in here. That would have been neat. So we could have placed a boat out in the water. Uh, here's a picnic table here. I don't know, though. I mean, if you if you have a nice, gorgeous deck like this, you'd probably just want to sit out on the deck, unless you want to do, be all the way down on the sand. Oh, yeah, a beach chair might be a cool idea. 
You could sit out uh, and soak up the sun. I like that idea. It's not going to be level, though. Well, that's okay. I don't think that's really noticeable. So OG could sit out and soak up the sun, throw a line in the water, catch some fish. Um, okay, is there a, a an ice chest? Because he's going to need some cold ones in the ice chest when he's doing that. Um, let's see here. Did I see an ice chest? There's some, like, ice cream thingies. That's not really an ice chest. I suppose he could he, he could put his drinks in the in a bucket. Oh, look at that. Maybe if the sun gets too too hot. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. Um yeah, I, I don't it doesn't look like we have access to an ice chest. That would have been cool. If we could have. But you know what we can do? We can put the bucket down there. There we go. Okay. So he'll just throw some ice in the bucket. Um, Alright, anything else in here we might want to put down somewhere? These, um... There was something else. Yeah. This chair would look nice on the deck. So maybe we'll put a couple chairs there and even um, a bench up against the wall, maybe? What's that? That's some lumber. Got barrels. What are these? Oh, recycling station. That's interesting. That's a parking meter, a milk can, a lawnmower, an industrial hatch. Some cool stuff in here. Um, what if we put like some plants out on the deck? Maybe put that plant there. Trying to get it right in the corner. Well, it'll just... Oh! Okay. Um, well, maybe I can pick that up and, and re uh, replace it down. What's that? Oh, that's cool. It's a little chuck wagon table kind of thing. Lots of fun stuff that we could play with, but I think that's good enough for now. Um, but I like our little setup here on the beach. <laughs> we can sit down. All we need now is, is a fishing mechanic in the game. Now, uh, there isn't one to my knowledge, but that would be so fun if we could just sit here and throw a line in the water. I like it, you guys. I like it. It's coming together good. Okay, so now a couple more things we're going to do before we wrap up this episode. My intention here is for this to be a parking area. And uh, what we might, uh, here, let's do a game save first. All right, we'll go back into the build menu. And there's a couple of possibilities here. We have a nice garage here that we could potentially put in place. The redwood trees are going to make that a bit of a hassle, though. But for some of our smaller equipment, I, I used this in the in the normal farming simulator game. 
uh, but the larger version of it, and I really liked it. But for there to be enough room for this garage, we would we got to go more that way, and we and we'd have to get rid of that redwood tree, and we'd have to do some more landscaping. It's just a little too big for that, I think. There's not a lot of area to work with in this spot, you know, without doing some, you know, significant landscaping, which I don't really want to do. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to work, but there are other options here. If nothing else... That's going to be too big also. Yeah, too big. Hmm. Here, we got to move our ourselves out of the way here. Hello, dear. Is there any way we could potentially make this work? Um, we need to turn. We would need to turn it this way. There's a there's a garage door there, and there's one there. What about if we placed it over here? Or even over here? We might be able to get this to work if, and we just have to take the one redwood out. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to place this just temporarily. And I know the trees there of course, but I just want to see what the feasibility of this could potentially be. Cuz then we could drive around and go park into the garage here. And we'd have this area too. And I would put, you know, my small, <clears throat> excuse me, my smaller things in here, like my pickup truck and the John Deere Gator and maybe the tractor, that sort of thing. We're going to need a much larger building for our, our heavy machinery. But we could potentially make this work. We'd have to remove that redwood and we'd have to, you know, do some more landscaping over here. So we're driving up to our property and we can just drive right on in here to park um, or drive around this way. I kind of like that, you guys. I kind of like that idea. You know, putting it at that angle. The other option is to is to keep it, you know, square with the house and keep it more this way. In which case, this redwood would, red would have to go. And we'd still have to do some significant landscaping. Let's get back up into the air. So we can see this from a bird's eye view. So, all right, we're going to give ourselves 37,500 back. Or 37,500. Now, the other option for that particular building would be put it over here. And probably position it 
somewhere in this neighborhood. And then what we would do is we would we could just drive around through here and uh, remember this would all be leveled out, of course. Uh, go into the garage this way. And likewise, we could drive in through that way. And then that's, yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of like the, I don't know which one I like better, actually. The one that's at an angle or the one that's square with the house? This one will be a little more expensive to do because we'll have more significant landscaping, but again, I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you guys your opinion. Do you like the garage to be square with the house over here? Actually, it's not quite square with the house, but I'll make sure that it is if we place it over here. So do you like this configuration better or do you like the previous configuration where I had it more at an angle over here? Let me know in the comments and um, we'll see, you know, we'll see what you guys think. And if the majority of you pick one or the other method, then that's what we'll go with because I'm, I'm kind of, Six and one half does the other myself. I, I can't, neither one of those configurations are, I, I feel strongly about one over the other, you know? So I'm going to let you guys decide. So let me know in the comments which method that you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, log out of the game without saving, of course, so it gets set back to the way it was originally. And I'll wait to hear you guys, uh, your comments, and then when we come back in the next episode, we'll... We'll know how to set it up. We're going to do some more clearing. We'll leave, we'll leave the redwoods as much as possible. We're going to do some more clearing in this vicinity. And we'll have to find a place, you know, to put a large shed and a workshop so that we have a place to park our heavy machinery. Okay, that's that's really what it boils down to. Um, so I might do, I might go ahead and do some, uh, some, some of that clearing off camera. So, you know, just remove the brush, remove... All of the trees except for the redwood trees maybe do a little bit of leveling and decide where and what shed I'm going to use and then once I get that all figured out then what we'll do is we'll come back in the next episode we'll we'll place the garage down um, based upon your guys's comments like either this you know over here or at the angle um, or you know if you have another idea too, definitely just let me know in the comments and then we'll go from there. Okay, but this is fun, man. I, I like the way this is coming together so far. It's looking good. It's very cool. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.